this is a message to the truckers. First, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your bravery. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for standing up. Thank you for seeing what's going on and for doing the right thing. Thank you for getting us as far as you have. And I want you to know that nobody will blame you if you go home. You're not obligated to stay. You know, part of me wants to say to the truckers, stay, hold the line. But I can clearly see that the writing on the wall has been written. You are dealing with a power much bigger than Trudeau. You're dealing with the World Economic Forum. You're dealing with much higher powers. There's no need to be a casualty. There's no need to be a martyr. There's no need to take one for the team here. The government has already said loud and clear they will be using force to remove you. You will be arrested. Um, they will lock your bank accounts. They will refuse to give you insurance. They will work with the banks, anyone who's supporting this convoy now, if you can imagine, uh, under this emergency act, uh, it doesn't need a court order to freeze your bank account. They'll just freeze it. So, I mean, this is crazy times, right? It's crazy times. Not only did we have Trudeau stand up and turn on his own people today, refusing to address or end these mandates, we also had a motion that was raised by the Conservative Party in the House of Commons today that was a vote to um, for the federal government to put a plan together to tell us when they will remove these mandates. And that vote was 151 yes and 185 no, meaning 185 people today in the House of Commons on the floor um, voted that Trudeau didn't need to tell the people at all when the mandates will be lifted, when and if uh, the mandates will be ifted, lifted or what the plan forward will be. But I know you're there feeling a responsibility, feeling a great responsibility for the people of Canada who want their freedom back. And it's okay. We all understand that this responsibility is too great. It's time to pack up. It's time to go home. It's time to see your families. It's time to get warm, to have showers, to refresh and renew your spirits because this is all going to be a long road. And in the last three weeks, you have made so much progress. You have made so many inroads. You have lit the fire and the fire is burning strong. There are freedom rallies all across the world. People are waking up every day. The every day that you were in Ottawa, more and more people woke up, more and more people saw what was going on. More and more people understand the bigger picture. More and more people understand that this is wrong. Already in this short period of time, in three weeks, you've done so much that we are grateful for. The Conservative leader has fallen, Erin O'Toole, and a couple of new voices have emerged. We have Candace, we have Pierre, we have representation in the House of Commons now. You've woken up so many people. You've lit a fire under every free country in the world. They're holding their own Freedom Convoy truck rallies. They're holding their own rallies. You've sparked something in the hearts of everyone. And for that, we're grateful. You started this movement, but you don't have to finish it. We are forever grateful for your sacrifice. We're forever grateful for how far you've gotten us. But don't take one for the team. Don't be a martyr. Don't go down with the ship. Stand your ground and be peaceful. Go home with your head held high. There will be time to regroup. There will be time to formulate a new plan forward. There will be time to hire lawyers, to bring court documents to the floor in the House of Commons. Information is coming out all across the world. It's coming out. We're seeing people and doctors and RCMP and police and 
we're seeing everybody make these viral videos and everybody's uh, truth is coming forward. We're seeing victims who have been injured by these vaccines speaking out. We're seeing a snowball effect. And we are proud of you truckers. We love you. I don't know what's gonna happen in Ottawa. I don't know if you feel that you're gonna hold your ground, that you're gonna stay there or whether you're gonna leave. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I want you to know that there is no disrespect for you leaving. We hold you in the highest esteem for your peaceful protest, for everything you've done. Keep it peaceful all the way, all the way to the end. Keep this peaceful. Show what a true Canadian patriot looks like. Don't take the bait, even by the prime minister turning on its own citizens rather than granting them ending the mandates and restoring freedom. So we honor you tonight. We thank you. And we are much, much closer. This isn't going to end. This isn't going to end now. The fire is burning bright and truth rises. Truth will rise. Um, you know, everyone who's standing behind Trudeau right now, it will crumble. This narrative will crumble and the truth will eventually be shown. So be proud, be proud truckers. I'm very proud of you. You've lit a spirit in all of us and we will carry the torch forward. We will find new inroads. We will find new ways. We will hire lawyers. We will write our letters. We will work it on a community level. We will work it on a provincial level. I'm sending you love tonight. I'm sending you prayers and to look inside and to do what your heart is telling you to do. We're with you, we're behind you, and the fire is burning. You've done your job. Pray for grace. Pray for grace and to follow that voice. And I, for one, am very thankful. And I hope this ends peacefully. I hope they're not able to ruin you criminalize you, take your children, take your money, throw you in jail. Um, I pray that you will be safe and I pray that your life um, will, and the sacrifice that you've made will be honored.